Hi. I have an idea for a video game. Or a video game mechanic. The core mechanic of a video game. And I've had a really hard time explaining it. And I feel like I have maybe a way of explaining it. That's new and maybe makes more sense. So I decided. I haven't done a vlog in a little bit. I'm going to do it in the form of a key vlog. So I guess this is a T pitch instead of an elevator pitch. Um, so, I like time travel stories. I think a lot of people do. And a lot of time travel video games don't hit that thing, don't hit one of my favorite parts of a time travel story, which is the interaction between the time traveler and the time traveler. So, like, in a lot of video games, you do a thing and you press a button. And then there is a mannequin who does the thing that you did over and over again, whether or not that makes sense. Whether or not that's even possible. And fine. And a lot of other time travel games, it's like, go back in time to 1863 and change some key moment in history, which is also cool. But here's, like, the scenario that I thought of that's, like, the thing I want to be able to... Like, the thing I want someone to be able to do in the game that I have a mechanic to let them do that I don't think I've seen. Here is a locked door. Your future self opens the locked door and lets you through. Now that you are on the other side of the locked door, you go back in time and become that future self. And now you open the door and your past self walks through. That door is only open if your future self opened it. And your past self can only walk through the door if your future self opened it. But your future self can only open the door if they get through. What I'm imagining here is time travel as a journey from uh, now to whatever time point you set in the past that leaves you wherever you were now but then. So if I time traveled back to the beginning of this video, then I'd be down here when I hit start on the recording instead of being upstairs in my room getting my tea stuff together. If I time traveled to... If... if Yeah, I mean, that, that kind of sums it up. It's location... It, it is... You pick a time and then you go to a location and that is how you get to a specific location at a specific time. Is you said now's the time that the time travel is going to aim at and then found the place that you wanted to go. And that gives you your time point and your location. So, without the future self, without that thread of the person who came back in time inside the locked building to open the door, the past self couldn't get into the building. And without the past self, the future self wouldn't be in the building to open the door. And that's what I want to create. And my idea for creating it is basically that you can replay one of these threads or both of these threads. Um, so, in the video game, what you would do is you would make your time point and you would find some other way into the building and go back. 
and that would be your initial past thread. And now you have a, th a future thread that starts in the building. You open the door, you let your past self through, and then you replay the past thread. You replace that past thread where you broke a window around the corner with a past thread where you just walked through the door. And now you have a consistent timeline where, magically, you walk through a door that was only open because you already walked through the door. Um, so the main reason why, the main reason why I wanted to make this vlog today, why, well, not necessarily a vlog, but why I wanted to talk about this game today, is because what do you do with this game mechanic? What's some fun things to do? What are some challenges? What are some magic tricks that come out at the end of the construction of a time loop that have some really gorgeous shenanigans that you had to pull off in order to put a end of one of your time threads in the right place to hop back and flip the switch. That how did you get there? You got there because you flipped the switch. What are some things you can do? And that's what I'd like to know. I'd, um, I'd like to know if anyone else thinks that a game built around creating stable time loops is a cool idea. I'd like to know some of the things that would be fun to try to do in that game. Like, I have about a third or a half of a setup for the game, but I don't have a game. I don't have a story. I don't have a goal. So, I think a starting point is what do you do in a game about making stable time loops? What are things that you can do? And I think a core part of the game mechanics that I want to implement is this idea of paradoxes. Like, if you erase that, like, if you redo that time thread where you open the door for your past self and don't open the door, then bam, paradox happens. The new thread you were trying to build unravels. You're stuck with the old threads that you had. So, like, what do you, so, like, the goal of the game is to make those paradox-free tangles of time that are, that are a part of stories like, um, uh, uh, the Door into Summer, which is a creepy story now that, like, I mention it, um, by Robert A. Heinlein, or, um, Twelve Monkeys. Is it Twelve Monkeys? The one with Bruce Willis. Um, or, like, the joke was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, where they just didn't finish the other part of the time loop because they'd already done it, therefore... Do they really need to do it? Nah. Um. Yeah. Uh. I want to make a game that's about making stable time loops. That is about making a machine where being able to do the thing depends on having already done the thing. And I, as I've tried to explain, I have an idea for it. And I want to know if it makes sense. And I want to know what are some things that I can do with this idea that would be fun. So, I'll stop rambling. And thank you. If, uh, if you have any ideas, thank you very much. If, if it doesn't make sense, thank you very much. Let me know. I really appreciate knowing because I need to figure out how to make this make sense. Thank you.